You've been awfully quiet over there. What are you thinking? Nothing. You always say that. You must be thinking something. No, not really. Nothing at all? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about this. How come they spell the word gooey duck, G-E-O duck? That's nutty. I mean, that'd be like geo duck. That doesn't make any sense. You ever notice that? <laughs> it's wacky. That's what you were thinking? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. A little bit more of the ride. Also, uh, today, a guy cuts me off on the freeway. 60 miles an hour, we're in these machines of destruction, and he's talking on his car phone. God, that's so irritating. I mean, better he should conduct that important business he's working on than to worry about whether people like me make it home in one piece or not. Hello, world! Is the whole place nuts, or is it just me? Well, you know... I mean, why stop might've... with the car phone? Why not go ahead and bake a cake while you're driving home? <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll get the Duncan Hines car cake mix. Or, or you can take up a hobby. Maybe do the Balsam Wood car carving kit. You can do a little whittling on his drive home. Okay. You want to talk about stupid. Have you noticed how all these TV shows now have that camera moving around all the time? That shaky camera thing, it about makes me want to throw up. Of course, like I guess that all kind of makes sense in a world where line dancing is considered to be real dancing. Oh boy, this is hard! Hey, look, honey, I'm dancing! And, and I got this new supervisor at work. Oh boy, what a peach he is. I mean, if you put this guy into a sensory deprivation tank, he wouldn't even know the difference. So I told him, look, pal, I don't know where your little ceramic monkey is, and I don't care. Like, I'm going to take the little ceramic monkey off his desk? Yeah, that's it. I'm a little ceramic monkey kleptomaniac. I hate that place. i got to get out of there. Meanwhile, life is just blowing by. I mean, look at this. I'm starting to look as old as the dad on his family circus cartoon. It really makes you think, doesn't it? I mean, what is the meaning of life anyway? Why are we here? Are we just an accident? Alone? Adrift in the universe? Oh, but your mother's got the world figured out. She doesn't know how a toaster works, but she's got everything else figured out. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a humiliating childhood, too. Like my mom driving the car with that Tijuana brass on the radio. Full blast! All the kids, they come running out of their houses. They thought the ice cream man was coming. And I'll tell you, my old man, my old man, oh boy, what a treat he was. You think Dad could have spent a little time with me? I mean, why did he even have kids in the first place if he wasn't going to do anything with them? Like, take them hunting once in a while. Richard, your father was blind. Okay, but he wasn't totally blind. I mean, some larger objects appeared as blurs to him. He could have shot at a moose or something. Richard, Richard, you know, when I asked you what you were thinking. What I'm really asking is, do you think about us at all? Think about us? Yeah. What about me? Do you still love me? Whoa, sure, honey, yeah. <laughs> Good. I mean in the sense that love is really nature's way of tricking us into reproduction. Kind of a biological delusion. Shut up. That's why we created the myths of romance and fate and all that stuff in the first place. Shut up. There are five billion people on this planet. Are we supposed to believe that we were meant for each other just because we had a math class together in high school? Shut up! Uh, I, I thought you wanted to know what I was thinking. Well, I did, and now I do. And I'm sure glad that you finally opened up, honey. Okay. How is your lasagna? You really want to know? No. Really good. Thank you.